Hi guys, so I've just done a foundation routine. I don't know if I'm going to upload that first or not, but um, I featured the L'Oreal True Mask Super Blendable Makeup in SPF 17, and my color is W5 Warm Beige. Okay, so this product is um, one of the only drugstore foundations that I've actually found that has a wide variety of colors. They have about five shades in each type. They have the warm, the neutrals, and the cools. And it's really good because not a lot of um, drugstore products have all of the range of colors. So you can only usually get that at higher, more higher end products. And it's good because not everyone is the same shade. And uh, so if you're, if you're wondering if you're going to be a warm shade, warm shade is if you have more yellow undertones. Or, and if so you're mostly Asian or if you are of olive skin. And neutral if you're neutral and cool is if you have more pinker undertones. So if you want to compare to MAC, um, warm is NC and cool is NW for MAC if you're wondering. Okay, and it has SPF 17 which is really good because your skin needs SPF on it. Um, it's, even if it's in the winter, there's always UVA, UVB even if the sun is not shining as as much, even if it's cloudy. I heard even if you're indoors, the low UVA, UVB can go through the windows, so it's always good to have some SPF. And my moisturizer does not have SPF, so this is good. 17 is a good. It's good. And um, it is oil-free, which is good for my skin because I have combo oily skin. And the thing is, with this, is if I put it over a mattifying foundation primer, it lasts all day and it doesn't get oily. And I have issues with liquid foundations before because they always get my skin oily even though they say they're matte. And I really like the formulation of this because it's a bit runnier, so it's easier to blend. And when you just put it on the uh, on your skin before you blend it out, it doesn't just stay there. Like it will blend out even after 30 seconds. Like when you try to put a bit on all parts of your skin before you blend it out, and it will be blendable. That's why it's called super blendable makeup. And the coverage it gives you, it depends on what kind of brush you use. If you use um, a flat top kabuki, it'll give you really heavy coverage. I find that if you use a brush like this, not only does it give you heavy coverage, it makes it look a bit cakey, and um, it doesn't even cover the, the the pores, large and large pores I have here, even though this gives you he heavier coverage. So it's kind of weird like that, and it doesn't really look nice. The other option is just a foundation brush, a flat one, a normal foundation brush like this. This one, it gives you okay coverage, but it's really um, medium coverage, I guess. It's really hard to work with, though, because um, it's it's like a brush like this, and it will streak a bit, so it takes more time to work with it. If you have the patience, I would recommend you using this, this kind of a brush. And my favorite one, which is I've shown you in the video today, which I used, is a stippling brush. Stippling brush is best because it gives you the airbrush flawless look, and it's the right coverage for me. Even though it's not too heavy, it does cover up the parts that need to be covered up. And this foundation is said to be light to medium coverage, but again, like I said, depends on what brush you use, you can alter the heaviness of the coverage. Or, I've heard some people even using this as concealer or just little touch-ups. If you don't have very bad skin, if you're young, starting out on makeup, um, yeah. And the price ranges from around $11 to $16 in Canada, depends where you buy it. Walmart's around $11 something, and we get a Shoppers John Mart, which is $16. Not Shoppers, I got London Drugs, which is about $16. I think that's how much they saw at Shoppers John Mart as well. But places like those, they actually have people to match colors for you. So the first time, it's okay to splurge. And the second time, when I'm going to replace this, I probably will go to Walmart or something like that because it's cheaper. And there is a little specs in here. It's supposed to make your face luminizing. It's not too overpowering as an illuminizer or one of those things that make your face like a sparkle ball or whatever. It's just a tiny bit. And once you put your uh, your setting powder, your pressed powder over it and your bronzer and your contouring or whatever, it totally just, you can't even see the little specks anymore. So I really recommend this, especially if you're concerned, if you have oily or combination skin and you're concerned about using liquid um, foundation. Um, I would really consider you trying this. I was really skeptical, but I heard it was really easy to blend, and I heard so many good things. Um, the first time I've heard about it is from Easy Access Beauty. Go check her out. She has a whole video on foundations, like from drugstore to high-end. Um, she even compares this to uh, Makeup Forever, the HD one. So I recommend you trying it out, and... Yeah, I hope this review really helps you. If you have tried it, please comment below. Let me know or let other people know how you like it. And thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.